I can say when I first got into this business, one of the most common questions I got asked by people in the public or even other firefighters is, you think you could carry me out of a burning building? Could you throw me over your shoulder? I weighed 110 pounds soaking wet when I started. Um, and my answer to them was always, well, no, I don't think I could throw you over my shoulders because I don't think most of the people around here could, but I would find a way to get you out in spite of you being nasty to me. Throughout all history, men have dominated the workforce in many occupations because of cultural views and the labor that is essential for society's needs. There's a sense of gender inequality even today in 2017. Military service, government, firefighting, and leadership roles are all examples of positions that have been and are still seen as male-dominated positions. As roles in society slowly have changed, women have more of a desire to serve in positions which they have previously been excluded from. If you give me a chance by going and voting for me on May the 6th, I will never forget you. I will work my heart out for you. And yes, we will take back our country. Thank you all and God bless you. Female executives bring higher profits, new and efficient leadership styles, and many other important benefits that put a very meaningful impact on the previously male-dominated world. Hi, I'm Tim Neisler, and I am the fire chief for the City of Maitland Fire Department. When I was hired, we all got hired about within a few months of each other, female-wise. There were five of us in all of Central Florida. I was the only one here in Maitland. And just breaking through the barrier of the good old boy system that this is firemen instead of firefighters and the fact that can a woman really do this job um, that's always been an issue it still is um, i've been here for 35 years i've been uh, a firefighter longer than any of the other fire chiefs in the area and yet i still feel like regularly i have to continue to prove myself where most of them feel like they've proven themselves just by getting in the position that they're in. So it is a challenging uh, role because of the tradition that stands behind this. We provide primary care for a lot of people. That's an automatic nature type of thing for females. Females are nurturers and so they fit into this role very well. Um, not everything is done with brute strength anymore. Back in the olden days, I would say you had to have more brute strength. Now you use your brain. Um, women can bring a whole new dynamic to this type of business. And if we can get more and more girls interested in the business, um, then we're going to see a different type of service that we're able to deliver. Uh, it, it brings a whole nurturing side along. I am Joy Goff Marcel. I'm a licensed Florida attorney and also Councilwoman for the City of Maitland, Florida. Councilwomen in the past have paved the way for me. I imagine the first person who ran for office in Maitland encountered all sorts of gender bias. Even though they're the, the same exact, same education, same abilities, the male will have more of a, a stairway to get higher in life than the female who won't make as much money even though they're basically the same quality of person. I get asked if I'm a school bus driver, um, you know, and then I even with my own friends who don't understand this career will ask me, well, what is it that you do? Because you don't go in and fight fires, do you? I don't anymore, but I did for years. When I first started as a lawyer back in 1993, I was very proud of myself because I went to law school and I passed the bar and I worked for my father in his law office. And I shouldn't say every time, but it was most every time a man walked in the office, he immediately assumed I was the secretary. Will you make a copy of this? Naturally. It was very offensive to me, nothing against secretaries, that it's a great profession, but I wanted to be an attorney and I didn't want to be assumed that I was secretary. And the person would come in and start ordering me around. If you're a female and 
you should have the same right for that job. So who's ever the best fit for that job should fit in that job. If you're scared of inequality, maybe you aren't ready for that job. If you treat her right, she might make you a darn good employee. What do you mean, treat her right? Get that chip off your shoulder. What's wrong with her? She's a woman, isn't she? The public that we serve is diverse, so we need to understand the needs of that public. And the only way to truly do that is to have a group of people that um, can actually mirror that demographic. And if we can respect each other and work toward a common goal of peace and unity, hopefully then we can have a much calmer, happier society. As we move into the future, more women who get involved in past male-dominated positions such as firefighting and government will better the community and world as a whole.